What about this, Tom? That is something, unless you really don't like heights. Now it's the uh, it's. <laughs> <laughs> it is uh, Bruce touched on it's one of the great months of Australian sport. Let's go down to Craig Willis. Ladies and gentlemen, the Australian Football League and our premier partner Toyota welcome you to the first qualifying final tonight here at the MCG. Would you now please join with the coaches, players and umpires as we stand for the Australian National Anthem. Mitchell. Oh. Well, well, Mumford's stiff there. He really tried to avoid okay. Lewis, who was down low, and Lewis gets an important free kick. Quite right, Bruce. Nothing more Mumford really could have done there. If, if Lewis was going forward with the ball, Mumford would have got the free kick. Brad Hill then. One of two Hawks tonight playing in their first final. Kick is on the way. Big weekend for the family. He puts a throw. Lovely kick. Gee, the pressure on both sides is great. So it keeps high ball to a contest. Mitchell, productive. Guerra, first time he's played against the Swans this year. Spanger pushed out by McVay. Free kick Spanger. Obvious free kick. He's an amazing story, Spanger. He was drafted in 05, didn't play 06 07, seven games for West Coast in 08, 11 and 09, 8 in 10, 6 and 11 for Sydney, none in 12, three this year. I mean, talk about a journey, man. It's a remarkable football journey, and that's one of the highlights of his career. Smith wobbling forward, oh. running hard, Rowan couldn't control it, important play, well done by Richards just to hold it up, Gibson searching, Mitchell so constructive, brilliant handball, Ruffy, well he's a chance from here, and look at that, Hawthorne, transitional football goal, scores a level. And Jared Ruffhead was able to get on the end of this moments before this passage of play. Ted Richards left his direct opponent in Ruffhead. Well, he's, he's your Michael Voss in so many ways, uh, Lee. Oh, he's just, yeah. he's unbelievable, isn't he? So how much time, Lee, would you put into, if you jump along, my thinking about, might get back to that thinking. Shields just kicks a good one. And Gunston, well, Big, Big Bourne wrote a great answer. Yeah. Through Hodge at half back there, getting himself under the ball. So you won't get a better view than that one. And that is a magnificent kick. And he lives up to his reputation. And again, so less ball hunting and more Hodge watching. Hill. Hey, so Brad Hill has started well. Good kick. Right there. White cross. Good first half. He just had one bad kick before half time. That looks good off the boot. And Buddy Franklin mentioned to you, Richo, about lowering his only goal for the season. His only goal as a Hawk last week against the Swans. We know he's a good goal kicker. And there you go. Brian Lake gets the first goal after half time. He breaks the drought line. Good catch for Hawthorne. They look really dangerous. Running hard, Smith. Now he's a left footer, but he's going to take on Bolton. And he goes on the right foot and floats it beautifully. And Hawthorne have come out charged up here. 
and Bailey, eh? This to give Hawthorne some breathing space and they get it. For the first time tonight, you feel like a team is getting right on top. Rugby did well, nevertheless. He stopped the charge. He's held them up about 60 metres from goal. Birchall looks back inside the centre square to White Cross. Hodge wants it. Hodge has got it now. That's the second hey. time he's put himself well, on his right foot. It doesn't matter. He's done that twice. And the man on the mark not expecting that, so he gets it. A great Hawthorne player. And they've had plenty. He's in the upper echelon. Hale comes in. Punishing kick. Has it got the carry? It has. And Sydney are starting to buckle. Hawthorne applying the screws. Turning the ball over, and Hawthorne is screwing them down. That's 50. No, it's not. So. Hale, Lake, and Bailey, the goal scorers in the second half. Guerra. He's a thumping kick, Guerra, but he's so constructive you want to use it. And he does to centre half forward. Oh, great mark. It was a beautiful kick, but shoes and these are likely targets for the Hawks. Well, we're buddy for Mark. Just a front half game, isn't it, with Hawthorne? They, uh, they're just not allowing the Swans to get forward of the centre, back of the centre square. So set shots have been a problem for Liam this year, but you reckon he'll kick this, and he does. And Hawthorne are very close to a prelim final. Wayne's got it on a number of occasions, and they just have butchered the ball with fatigue. Pike backhands it down into the path of Kennedy, stolen away by Hale. Puapolo working hard moments ago and now grabs some of the glory. Was to lock the ball in the 450, but every now and again you get on the end of one and the work rate gets rewarded. In a powerful quarter from Hawthorne. David Hale's been absolutely outstanding. He's been the player that has really transformed this game both with his work at the stoppage and obviously up forward also flexing their muscles here the hawks Looks in fine. front wants to follow up his own good work couldn't smith knocks it out of the congestion parker his hands have been good got it back to bird on a collision course there tip it coming up the ground shields going back lake wanted to go back to shields but he was out of bounds so eventually gave it to sewell his kick beyond the ring and again spanger the unlikely, untidy hero. Gives it across towards Lewis, and Lewis finds Gunston on the lead, about 60 metres out from goal. Goes to grass, and running across that grass, there's Ruffhead to take the mark. That was a clever kick. But the work of Spanger to push up the ground and mark the footy, that then opens up the space behind for Ruffhead to lead into, and he's played a really important role tonight, Spanger. Ruffhead goes short, under the chest of Gunston. Sydney dancing with death right here. Gunston, his kick is on the way. It's working back nicely. And maybe Sydney need now to put down their hopes. 44 plays 71. McVay with that injury. Hill, well done. Hawthorne opening the up. Hill and Anderson, some pace there. Anderson inside the forward 50. Now Chesky went to ground. He made a good spoil. Tap back cleverly by Gunston. Bruce to Hale. Hale, yes. Hale and Harty tonight. Great finish by David Hale. But when you watch Hawthorne play, every time the ball goes back into the middle, you can nearly bet on it that they'll have a difference. They create space. And they find that spaces have done just there. They're just working Sydney over here. They try and pull all their forwards back to see if they can, yeah, just do this lead up towards the 50 metre mark. Well, a really good setup from Hawthorne. And what they've done is the Swans have been playing, in effect, man on man all night. And so yeah. if you're playing a man on man defence, it means the forwards can dictate start points and, and lead patterns. And they've been able to find pockets when they shouldn't have been able to. To Ruffy kick his 70th goal for the season. He kicked 75 in their premiership year. Coleman medals for the first time this year. Good looking kick. He gets his 70th. Hawthorne are on their way. They're in the prelim final for sure now. 
tail on the tape right there. And what's been really impressive about Hawthorne is they absorbed extreme pressure. Take the, the free kick. 55 metres out. Now, this is where they're highly dangerous. Burgoyne. Man runs on. That's Guerra. He ignores that. Gets for space towards the opposite pocket. Anderson! Oh, the sub! Where did he come from? Just another source. Uh, at that centre bounce, pointed out all right. They just keep rotating different players through that part of the ground. I mean, that shouldn't happen. Nice to be, jump. To be totally fair, we've got a tall and Andreas Everett at the back of there. Nick That's Smith doing his job on Anderson. Shouldn't have been out of mark that. Jed Anderson directly in front to join in. And he does. Well done, young fella. Hawthorne get their 13th. Any value in an AFL final at his current level of condition. So Cyril there looking on. It's an extra week just to rest. Bruce through the pack gets another one. Celebration time at the NCG. It's on five goals from their last inside fifty five inside fifties. Such a powerful performance and going through the numbers. I mean, it's just Hill one. wraps him up. So Anderson and Hill, they're two quickies to White Cross, and then White Cross on the left foot. Lovely kick to Gunston, and you can put down the glasses, Tom. Paul McVeigh, great season. And McVeigh down behind plays he just a bit. See the first and only player to kick more than two goals tonight. He has got it. And that's it. Hawthorne, the minor premiers, into the preliminary final. Fantastic by Hawthorne. I mean, look, look, Hodge in many ways kept them in the match in that first half at times, and then they just built it away. And you're with the skipper now. Yeah, I am, Hodgie. That was a uh, pretty good effort tonight. It must be a good feeling now, two weeks off into a prelim again. Yeah, yeah, you're right, mate. It was a, uh, this was a warm game. It was a uh, very physical contest, and they, there was a lot of tight boys at the end of the game. So it's come out there and throw away the good win. Um, yeah, I guess we sit back next week, have a look at the uh, teams we're going to play and focus from there. Four goals all at half time. Most people thought it was going to be an arm wrestle right to the end. What happened at half time? <laughs> not, not a hell of a lot. It's just that's finals footies like that. You come out there, and especially in Sydney, you're not going to go and score easy uh, for the whole game. We were lucky enough to get a few late in the game, but early on it was a real tussle. You've been here before, but how does this compare? Are you in better shape this year than you have been in the past? Oh, mate, I, I think we're focused. We uh, we realise if you uh, if you drop the ball for a second, you uh, you let one slip in. Look, the boys are happy we had a win, but um, we're a focus group and we've got some work to do. You've got two weeks now, but you've got a couple of good players, Cyril and Buddy, to come back into that team for the prelim. It's going to be tough on someone. Yeah, you're right. But that's that's a good part about uh, getting this far in the season. If uh, if you make the coach's job tough to pick the side, that's uh, that's what we want. So we've got a couple of boys that are all going to come back in, and we've got a lot of boys that deserve to keep their spot. Now you sneaked forward uh, in the last quarter there. You had 11 goal kickers. You could have been the 12, but you missed one from a metre out. Yeah, mate, I uh, think I better come to get some goal kicking on you, mate. We'll, uh, we'll need a lesson or two. Uh, thanks, Roger. Thanks, mate. Uh, he's a great guy. <laughs> And for Alistair Clarkson, it was a terrific article today, reading about how he handled the defeat last year in the grand final and how he talked about getting it into the reality of life and that they could move on from there. And I think we're seeing that, but you feel like nothing counts for them this year unless they win the flag? Well, I think so. They've been such a dominant team for a few years. Amazing. They got beaten tonight in clearances and contested possessions. But they still won easy. All that they play fantastic keepings off, don't they? When they got the ball, they maintain possession with these fantastic foot skills just so well. And let's go down to you again, Richo, because you're with uh, one of the engine room guys and Brad Saul. Yeah, certainly am. And, and you got the job done in the engine room tonight. Yourself and Mitch uh, Sawley, really in good form in there. 
Yeah, I think uh, we went in at half time and uh, the stats told us we were being pumped, contested ball clearances and whatnot. Um, it was an arm wrestle all night in there and uh, I thought we fought back pretty well in the second half. It's a really good win then, but what about your own form, Sully? You had your challenges earlier in the season, but right back to your best now at the right time of the year. Yeah, uh, there's no doubt a battle a bit through the middle part of the year, but um, I know this is all we play for this, uh, this next month now, so um, I need to make most of it. We're talking about your versatility tonight as a team. It seems that most players can rotate all positions. It's such a strength for you. Yeah, it is. It's something we've worked on throughout the year. The ability to, to swing guys through the midfield, um, you know, forward and back as well. If someone's having a bit of an off night, we need a bit of a spark. There's a number of guys we can throw through, through there. So uh, it's been a strength for us. Well done, mate. Thanks, mate. Well, we've asked a question about him a few times in the back half of the year, and he's responded brilliantly, hasn't he? Oh, he's, he's, he's born to play September football, and uh, Lee's been a, a massive Brad Sewell backer from the outset, and he was uh, certainly outstanding. And I, I love Luke Hodges' comments when Richo said, how does it feel this time around? He just said, we're focused. Yes, yeah. I mean, that's... If you're focused and you've got talent, yeah. things are heading in the right well, direction. All it means is you've got into the preliminary final, so you get into the last four, got the home state advantage. It's a fantastic uh, starting point for the uh, premiership campaign, but yep. that's all they've done. They've qualified for the last four, and they know that. And no second chance for anyone when you get to that point. I mean, this you is the last time they've played in a match where the loser gets another crack, the isn't it? from next week. Everybody. It's hard to... It's hard to see how you can rattle them. I mean, Sydney threw everything at them in the first half, and we were as good as all that. Let's go down to you, Richard. I think you've got to Josh. Yeah, yeah Sean, Sean, good, good effort tonight, Sean. Uh, you're one of these players that's come to Hawthorne from another club. You've got plenty of them. What is it about the Hawks? No, uh, they've, uh, they've got a you know, good opportunity. Um, there's a good window there to come and maybe snag a premiership side. You know, hopefully we can grab it this year. Just talking about your versatility, you played down back tonight, up forward. Where do you spend most of your time at the moment? Uh, just down back at the moment, but middle, up forward, just whatever Clarko wants. You better get in there, mate, and sing the song. Thanks, thanks, mate. Cheers. Well done, Richie. Yeah, in they go. The coach still out there. He likes grabbing a footy as well, Alistair Clarkson, and actually giving one over the fence, which the winning team and the winning players do. But he, he's the one coach who always joins in that tradition. I think he likes giving a footy for one of the young young fellas over the fence. He's done a great job at Hawthorne. He really has. I mean, it's such a formidable force. And this is what you play and train hard for, to get yourself to this position with a week off in September. Set yourself up for a, uh, yeah. an assault on the Premiership. And they've got themselves into the perfect spot now. And we've talked about it a bit tonight. To think that Franklin and Rioli are waiting to join them on preliminary final Couple night. Couple of good ends. Oh. <clears throat> and have a look at these faces. These great players that have got them far. Final. Plenty more still to come. Michael Voss, Alistair Clarkson, all the latest footy news. A big, big Friday night. Hawthorne down to the last four. They're in the